squad back then was absolutely amateur. No professional players. The players would uh, work full time, then train. We decided to do kind of research projects, uh, real crude uh, battery fitness tests. So we travelled the country from we were based in Worcester, like Southampton, Bunny Bells, uh, Leeds were probably the, the furthest north teams then. Um, do a fitness test and doing a, a real bummy part of our status, two day dietary recall. Um, myself and, and colleague went to the World Congress on Science of Football in Sydney and presented. Um, and then also that summer, we kind of went out to the US and uh, did a tour and it happened to be in 1999 when the Women's World Cup final was on. So I actually was there in the Rose Bowl with the minor 2000 fans in Baker Heath. So it's just kind of funny how things transpire. And then when I was at Worcester teaching, um, a colleague, uh, her husband, who is Mark Holtz, he worked at the Football Association and it was uh, the department's expanding. Uh, we want to kind of service all of the women's teams and the men's teams. So I applied and, and got the job and went to the FA. So looking uh, young and fresh back then in 2001. Again, Fulham at that time was the only full-time professional team. Um, uh, I 